win it 9 to 3. Good night from Seattle. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Nine runs, 16 hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. For Atlanta, three runs on nine hits, no errors. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public. Gabriel Thorne will dig in now, coming off one of the best offensive performances we've seen in a World Series game for quite some time. Oh, really? There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. Solo shot to right center. His fifth so far in this series as the Mariners take a one to nothing lead. And this is what you expect when you make it to the postseason. I mean, you expect the guys. To... Kelly Johnson makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. This is line to left. I got it, I got Batista it, I got it. is right there as he puts it away, no problem. Gabriel Thorne stands in again. On, he got a hold of one and went yard better, in let's his go. first plate appearance. Yeah, he jumped on, all guy. over a first pitch fastball in that at bat and just drove it right out of here. So let's see if he's going to get it. Go, go, go. Once again. Gone. A fence scraper, but still good for three runs. So a three-run shot to right center field, his second home run of the game, as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Well, it seems to me like we've seen this before. His second home run of the ball game, and it would seem to me that he hit that one harder than he did the last one. So he's definitely locked in. Gabriel Thorne Leading is set to lead inning. us off in the home right, half of the fourth one. inning. Gabriel. You know, guys, I Let's love a guy like time. this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact, and he can run. Into the windup and the pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. The windup and the 0-1. Shot to third. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. You talk about a guy who's really stepped it up all throughout this postseason. Here's your man right here. And he's on base again as he leads off the inning with a base hit. The second baseman, Robinson Cano, strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Runners on the move for second. A pitch out. The throw. Short hop, and he's there just before the tag. Yeah, and you figure if you guess right on the pitch out, you're going to throw the guy out nine times out of ten. But even though they sniffed this one out and the throw's not all that bad, they still can't get him at second base. Eight runs and even ten hits. And no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point.
for third. Pitch oh, inside the throw. Oh, Not in time saved. as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. Hey, come on now. One time. Right here. Need you right here, kid. Hit hard toward first. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. Now a 9-4 ball game. So often we talk about the benefit of working the count in your favor. Here he gets it to three and one, and he gets his fastball. Bang! Gabriel Thorne will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Drilled right back up the middle, and that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Man, these guys have been aggressive here early in the count. And some people think, oh, you might want to take a pitch to start one time. And sometimes that's great, and it works out for a lot of people. to come on the first pitch, let it rip. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. We've seen him use his speed more than once here this postseason, and he's on the run again here as he gets into second with the stolen base. Now some action in the Braves' bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. On his way to third. Pitch is high, the throw. Tagged down from Johnson, and he's out at third. Freddie Freeman digs in, looking to send something into the outfield that gives that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. On the ground to third. Thorne. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game. Come on, guys. A.J. Pierzynski comes to the plate, and he'll start us off in the eighth. Hey, we've got no outs. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Oh, oh, this is oh. right out in front of the mound. And there's out number one. Gabriel Thorne hey, will stand in they as they're quickly are. down to their final right, four outs one. tonight. And Matt, they'd like nothing more than to ignite a two-out hey, rally on, right here. Maybe scratch at least one across before the night. Sends that one out of play for strike one. They see it and drive it. Let's go. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. A solo shot here to left. His third home run of the ball game as it's now a one-run ball game. Well, you talk about guys that have hit three home runs in a World Series game. Well, it's a pretty short conversation. Let's see, you got Babe Ruth, Reggie Jackson, Albert Pujol. Gabriel Thorne will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as they'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. are born in October and you can add another one to that list right here as they wind up winning this game in walk-off fashion. What a game.
fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. And you said it right there. This is where it matters the most. People are going to be talking about this performance for the rest of his life. Now, he was on the big stage for everyone to see, and he was the difference maker in the series victory. Back now on the show as we take you through a few of the sights and sounds of the final game of this World Series. And down on the field, we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the Commissioner's Trophy to the new world champs. Thank you for your patronage and remind you to please buckle up and drive home safely.